Welcome dear students today in this video lecture we are going to discuss about the subject preparation strategy for internal combustion engine the schedule of exam is on 29th december 2021 we have this paper after rescheduling of this exam and now in this time the question paper is consist of 70 marks as, as per the whole paper style so you need to prepare accordingly the gtu syllabus for the subjects is given and the credit is for the subject is consist of seven different chapters first is introductions the second is fuel and its supply system for ci and si engines then combustion in ci and si engines engine lubrication cooling supercharging and turbocharging the unit 5 is rating testing and performance of an ic engine the unit 6 is emission of ic engines and the seventh and last unit is unconventional engines and alternative fuels for ic engines now students as we all of know there are seven chapters are there so the question is arise is that how to prepare and from which chapter which topic is important and how to prepare for the gtu examinations to get maximum mark with minimum amount of efforts so students the specification table is also given and this specification table is just like a blueprint of the question paper so here for the subjects the r level means remembrance level question is of 30 percentage then u means understanding level question is also 30 percentage and the application level is also 30 percentage and the analyze is only 10 percent the level of question is given in this table but here the note is also written by the gtu that this is a suggested it is not the actual distributions of mark in the question paper it may be very slightly so according to this uh, we have an idea that how to prepare and what kind of question will be there in the question paper students from the updated syllabus the course outcome weightage is also given so here in this course there are five course outcome is there and the weightage of that course outcome is also given by the gtu that is mark in percentage weightage is also given so co1 is consist of 40 percentage weightage for the marks co2 is 35 CO3 is 10%, CO4 is 10%, the last the CO5 is 5%. And students we know that the course outcome one is map with the different chapters and according to this weightage we need to prepare that chapters. Now question is arises in your mind that how to select the chapters and in which sequence we need to prepare for the GTU for gaining the good marks with less amount of efforts. Here I have listed the three point basis on which we need to select the chapter. So point number one is GTU previous paper weightage as well as for the new curriculum syllabus CO weightage is there. So according to the previous paper as well as the new for the new syllabus we need to go with the CO weightages. Student we know that in the old syllabus this subject is offered in the sixth semester with the same title that is IC engine. So we have the previous GTU paper and from that we can have the weightage of the different. chapters is also there as well as we need to take the reference of the co weightages which is given in the syllabus then second is students perception means which chapter is like by the students means a favorite chapters as well as what is your objectives means you are going for scoring in these subjects or you are only preparing for the passing in these subjects so this is very important and third is the preparations previously how on what chapters you are prepare and now how time is available student as per the revised time table of gtu you have enough amount of time to have the good marks in these subjects because it is only having a seven chapters and very easy chapter to prepare it so we have enough amount of time we have the basic preparation is also depends on the student to students basis on this three point student need to select the chapters but here i have selected the chapter for the three different categories that first is to getting the passing marks second to get average score and third is for the excellent performance means if you want to score the grades like ab or aa then you have to go for all the three categories so let's we start with the passing marks so every students need to prepare this four points that is mentioned over here that first is unit 3 means we know that combustion in si and ci engine and students in all the papers as well as for the co weightage of this chapter is very high so definitely you have more than 
the 10 marks of the weightage of the questions will be there from the combustions in SI and CI engines. So we know that the question will ask that various stages of the combustions for the SI as well as CI engine along with the pressure versus crank angle diagrams. The second most important topic from the syllabus is the unit 5 and that is the performance of an IC engines. Students here we know that one numerical is definitely asked in every GTO question paper for 7 marks that is based on the performance of the IC engine like performance parameter calculations, brake thermal efficiency, indicated thermal efficiency, mechanical efficiency, brake specific fuel consumption or it may be basis on the Moore's test or it may be a basis on the heat balance sheet. Student, you must need to prepare this numerical to gain the 7 marks. As well as sometimes the theory is also asked that how to calculate the frictional power for the IC engine and what are the different methods. So these are the two important topics from the unit number 5. Then unit number 2 is also important because it consists of the fuel supply systems and the fuels. So students, we need to prepare only theory from that and that is for the carburetors, then MPFI, then different types of nozzle, then injectors are there. So you need to prepare this topic to gain the minimum passing marks. And now last for passing marks is unit number one, that is a comparison of SI and CI engine. I think all of you have learned about the basic comparisons between SI and CI engines in the previous subjects like engineering thermodynamics and basics of mechanical engineering but especially you need to prepare with the aspect given in our syllabus as well as also you need to prepare the wall timing diagrams so for passing marks you need to prepare this four topic or four points now after completion of this all four topic that is given in the category of passing marks you need to go for the average score so in average score, we have the unit 3 and that is combustion chamber for SI and CI engines. And then from unit 4, it is engine lubrication system, engine cooling system and supercharging and turbocharging. Students here, the varieties is very high in cooling, lubrication and supercharging. But at least uh, we have sure that, that definitely one lubrication system is there in the question paper, one cooling system is there and especially if we discuss then thermosiphon effect or thermosiphon cooling system is most important for the GTU and in turbocharging and supercharging that's, there are various three questions is there that is repeatedly asked in the GTU that difference between supercharging and turbocharging and any one type of superchargings and then last to gain the average mark you need to prepare the unconventional engines and alternate fuel that is unit number seven because in the question five definitely in our part as well as in the main part the seven mark question is there from the unit seven so you need to prepare the unconventional all three engines that is sterling engine wankel engines and the sterified charge engines and alternative fuels all, all of we know that there are similar kind of the characteristics is there so you need to prepare the alternative fuels and now the last is if you want to score the double a grades or a b grade then you need to go with this all topic after completions of this previous two. For excellent performance in the GTU question paper, you need to prepare the numerical for air fuel ratio as well as proximate and ultimate analysis from the unit number three. Then unit number three, again, there is a numerical is there for the carburetor as well as nozzle. And from the unit six, the theory of emission from engine, there are various two types of uh, theories there. One is related to the emissions means various pollutant and its characteristics as well as measurement of an emissions and then lastly if the time permits then and then you need to go for point number four and point number five the point number four and five is only for the students who do not need to take any chance to have lower than the double a grades so that is the numerical of supercharging and the measurement and calculations of emission parameter from the engine so that totally four and five number is optional for all the students but the student is only wants or only preparing the subjects for the double A grades then and then the student need to prepare the point number four and five. So this is all about how to prepare for the various category of marks. Thank you all and this is all the best for your examinations of IC engine. Thank you all. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you.